My name is Charlie CM and I'm a violinist. I first started playing the violin when I was about three years old. I was inspired by the sound that I heard on the radio. It was a recording of Yehudi Menuhin playing the Beethoven Violin Concerto. I was transported by the sound and I was convinced that this was something I had to do. And that's where the story began. And here I am continuing that journey. My first great influence would have been Yasha Heifetz. I was given his complete recordings when I was nine years old, and, uh, and I spent all my time listening to him and his remarkable musicianship and um, mastery of the instrument. Then I would say Shlomo Mintz, who was my teacher from the age of 18. I met Shlomo when I was 11, when I went to Israel to study at his master course uh, on a kibbutz in the Western Galilee. I again had a collection of his recordings as well and his very muscular, visceral style of playing spoke to me. I still am influenced and inspired by him. I've worked with some extremely inspiring conductors. Playing Mozart with Sir Roger Norrington was a, an amazing experience. Obviously, he's famous for um, eliminating vibrato, and he has um, a wonderful understanding of Mozart and his oeuvre that I would say influenced my playing with Mozart to this day. Also playing Shostakovich with Yuri Simonov. Um, the great Soviet conductor who knew Shostakovich himself. A very special experience. I've also worked outside of the world of classical music and I've had numerous partnerships with brands and I've collaborated with some legendary pop musicians and I feel that my character, my, the perception of who I am has been glamorized. And if that excites or inspires younger people to come and watch me playing um, classical music and opens their eyes, their minds, their hearts to, you know, this incredible world and substantial world of, um, of classical music, then it's a great thing. Every player's relationship with their instrument is very personal. I play a Quinaria del Jesu made in 1735 that was played by Yehudi Menuhin, a great inspiration to me as a child to start learning the violin. And people always ask, do you feel the presence of Menuhin in your violin? What's so amazing about these great instruments is that the player finds something of themselves within the instrument. And so, oddly enough, I don't feel any of Menuhin's sound when I play it. You find your own way within the violin. And I think that is constantly developing. It's always growing um, as you 
sort of challenge the instrument in all kinds of different environments. It's very much like taming a wild animal. You never quite know what you're going to get every day. You take it out of the box and start playing it. I have to feel a very close relationship with the character that wrote the music. I have to feel a strong affinity. By the time I go on stage, whatever it is, whether it be a contemporary piece or a piece by Mozart, I'm as connected because I can't perform it unless I feel that way. With all repertoire, with all music, it's a constant voyage, it's a constant journey. There's no one performance that puts it to an end. Every performance is almost like a workshop on the music. I see every concert really as an opportunity just to try and lift my interpretation, my understanding of the music to a higher level. have as many of these workshop style experiences as possible to be able to expand as a musician, expand as a human being, which I feel I'm able to do through playing the violin, through performing, connecting with audiences, working with wonderful musicians that allow me to grow, to develop my own understanding of music, what it is and what its power can be. And so that journey of discovery never ends.